electronegativity, factors affecting electronegativity, electronegativity down the groups, and electronegativity across the period. Firstly, let me teach you the basic concept of electronegativity. Consider three houses, P, Q, R. Let P house belongs to Mr. Tom and P house belongs to Mr. John. Mr. Tom and Mr. John are brothers. They both also own house Q. I mean, house Q is shared by them. So we say that house Q is held by Mr. Tom and by Mr. John. Thus house Q is mutually shared between them. This is the core concept of electronegativity. Now understanding electronegativity, consider two atoms X and Y. Let these both atoms form covalent bond by sharing one pair of electrons. The nucleus of X atom attracts this shared pair of electrons towards itself. While at the same time, the nucleus of Y atom also attracts this shared pair of electrons towards itself. Just like house Q, this shared pair of electrons is attracted by both the nucleus of X atom and the nucleus of Y atom. Here, let me ask you, why the nucleus of X atom and Y atom attract this shared pair of electrons? Well, we know that nucleus of any atom contains protons which are positively charged particles and electrons are negatively charged particles. So unlike charges attract each other. Hence we write, nucleus of X atom exert attractive force on shared pair of electrons. Also, the nucleus of Y atom exert attractive force on shared pair of electrons. So this ability of X atom to attract shared pair of electrons is called electronegativity. Similarly, this ability of Y atom to attract shared pair of electrons is called electronegativity. Thus, electronegativity is the power of any atom to attract shared pair of electrons. Now, which atom X or Y is more electronegative? Remember that more electronegative means that an atom has greater ability to attract shared pair of electrons. Let X atom strongly attract this shared pair of electrons than Y atom. So X atom is more electronegative and Y atom is less electronegative. Therefore, we define electronegativity as the ability of an atom to attract shared pair of electrons towards itself and a covalent bond is called electronegativity. Let me repeat it. The ability of an atom to attract shared pair of electrons towards itself and a covalent bond is called electronegativity. For example, consider a molecule of HCl. Hydrogen and chlorine share one pair of electrons to form covalent bond. The nucleus of chlorine atom strongly attracts the shear pair of electrons, so it is more electronegative. The nucleus of hydrogen atom weakly attracts the shear pair of electrons, so it is less electronegative. On the other side, the nucleus of chlorine atom strongly attracts the shear pair of electrons, so the electrons are electronic cloud of molecule tilt more towards chlorine. As a result of this, partially negative charge appears on chlorine atom. There is less electrons or electronic cloud at the hydrogen side, so partially positive charge appears on it. Thus we say that chemical bond between hydrogen and chlorine is polar bond. Because in a molecule of HCl, there are two poles, negative pole and positive pole. Note it down that if there is negative pole and positive pole in a molecule like an HCl, we call it a polar molecule or polar covalent bond. Secondly, consider a molecule of fluorine. We know that two fluorine atoms share one pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. Here, let me ask you, which atom is more electronegative? Well, both atoms are the same. They both equally attract the shared pair of electrons. For example, if this fluorine atom exerts 0.1 Newton attractive force on shared pair of electrons, then this fluorine atom also exerts 0.1 Newton attractive force on shared pair of electrons. Now, where is the electronic cloud? Well, the electronic cloud is in between. 
so no partial negative charge and no partial positive charge appears on either atom of fluorine there are no positive pole and negative pole so fluorine molecule has non polar bond note down that if there is no positive and negative poles in a molecule it is called non polar molecule or non polar covalent bond we will learn more about polar and non polar covalent bonds in our next lecture now let me teach you the factors affecting electronegativity my personal trick to learn factors affecting electronegativity is understanding coulomb's law of charges believe me no one is teaching us this point for example consider positive and negative charge let there is attractive force f and the distance between them is r according to coulomb's law the attractive force between these two charges is directly proportional to the product of magnitude or size of the charges secondly the attractive force between them is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them using these two points we can easily understand the factors affecting electronegativity for example the first factor is nuclear charge consider two atoms p and q let they share one pair of electrons to form covalent bond Let there are 10 protons in p atom and 15 protons in q atom. Can you guess that which atom is more electronegative? Well, according to first point of Coulomb's law, attractive force is directly proportional to the size of charges. The number of protons or nuclear charge of q atom is 15 and that of p is 10. So q atom strongly attracts the shared pair of electrons. the q atom is more electronegative on the other side p atom is less electronegative because there are only 10 protons present in its nucleus therefore we say that electronegativity is directly proportional to nuclear charge or number of protons in a nucleus the second point is atomic radius or shielding effect consider two atoms x and y let they share one pair of electrons to form a covalent bond The size of x atom is smaller so its atomic radius r is smaller the size of y atom is bigger so its atomic radius r is bigger now according to coulomb's law attractive force is inversely proportional to the square of distance between charges the distance r of nucleus of x atom is smaller from shared pair of electrons so the nucleus of x atom strongly attract shared pair of electrons hence electronegativity of x atom is higher while the distance of nucleus of y atom is larger from shared pair of electrons so the nucleus of y atom weakly attracts the shared pair of electrons hence electronegativity of y atom is smaller therefore we say that electronegativity is inversely proportional to the square of distance between charges thus note it down these important points finally Let me teach you the trends of electronegativity in periodic table like electronegativity in the groups. Let consider the elements of first group of periodic table. We can see that when we move from top to bottom down the group atomic radius increases. Also we learn that electronegativity is inversely proportional to the square of distance between charges. So down the group atomic radius increases electronegativity decreases it means that hydrogen is more electronegative than sodium while sodium is more electronegative than rubidium thus note it down that electronegativity decreases down the group secondly electronegativity and the period let consider period 2 elements in the periodic table we can see that when we move from left to right across the period number of protons or nuclear charge increases also we learn that electronegativity is directly proportional to number of protons or nuclear charge so electronegativity increases from left to right across the period because number of protons or nuclear charge increases it means that fluorine is more electronegative than boron while boron is more electronegative than lithium thus noted down that electronegativity increases across the period in the next lecture we will learn about polar and non polar covalent bonds and its link will be given in the description 
This was all about electronegativity.